Hey! It's Kim here again, and I just wanted to bring another video, and this time I want to discuss uh, graphic novels or just illustrated books in general. Um, I have a few that I kind of wanted to show and share, um, so let's just get into it! So the first book I want to mention is Coraline, the graphic novel by Neil Gaiman. I was slightly disappointed. Okay, I was really disappointed when I noticed that David King was not the illustrator. And I have nothing against um, this illustrator's uh, perspective on the story, but I just don't think the style matches the story as well as Dave McKean's artwork does. Um, I feel like it changes the characters, and it just, I mean, it changes the story completely for me. Um, Dave McKean did the artwork for the novel, and his style is very inky and gritty and creepy and just all around magical. And I just think it matches um, Neil Gaiman's storytelling. They work together a lot. The movie Mirror Mask is one of my favorite movies. And uh, if you have not seen this movie or read the book, I highly recommend it. I was very excited to find the illustrated book version of the movie. And he uses a lot of mixed media in his um, stories. In Slog's Dad by da uh, David Allman, Dave McKean is the illustrator, and you can really see like the differences, yet the similarities that he has from Coraline to Slog's dad. And again, he uses a lot of mixed media in his artwork. The Unruly Alphabet is this book that I found. It is not uh, illustrated by Dave McKean, but I thought the style was pretty similar in the grittiness. Um, this is just a book of the alphabet doing things. <laughs> I just thought it was very interesting, and I couldn't help but pick it up. It was at half price. The next graphic novel I want to talk about is In Real Life. Um, this is about a girl who prefers being in her online gaming world uh, than in real life. Um, and I just think the illustrations in this graphic novel are just so beautiful and cute. Highly recommend the story because it's just, again, all around cute. Anya's Ghost by Vera Brosco. This one is very, uh, I love the gray scale, but I mean, it's more of like a chalky color scheme and it's just, it's beautiful. It's about a girl who's kind of lonely and she ends up finding, um, making friends with a ghost. The next graphic novel is Nimo Nimona um, by Noelle Stevenson and I love her style. Her artwork is just too cute. And this is about a villain who gets a sidekick, he a shape-shifting sidekick that he doesn't like. And it's colorful and fun and all around, just look at it, all around cute. So the next book I want to talk about is by Matthew Forsyth, and I have no idea how to pronounce this uh, title. But it, is, it has a nice simplistic style, ink drawings, it's a nice like blue coloring uh, for shading. It's about this little girl who just goes off, I guess, exploring. Aside from that, I don't know much about it, but it is just really adorable just a few of the illustrated books that I really enjoy and I just wanted to share them with you. If you have some that you want to recommend me, please do so. I love being uh, introduced to new uh, illustrators and authors. Just let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching. Bye!